Hello everyone, welcome to ACE Online. There is a very good news from Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited. The good news is all about job opportunities. If you want to know the details about job opportunities, you just need to go to Google and type npcl.nic.in. You will find a page like this. In the menu bar, you will find out HR management. Click on the HR management. You will find out opportunities and the policies. Click on it. You will find a new page which has an advertisement posted on 7th April. Click on this, you will get a detailed advertisement in Hindi as well as English. The English advertisement starts from 19th page. The advertisement is all about recruitment of executive trainees 2025 through GATE 2023, 2024 and 2025. Yes, you heard me right. They are not only calling the applications from 2025 get qualified candidates but also they are calling the applications from 2023 as well as 2024 qualified candidates if you want to know some more key points about this detailed application or detailed notification like number of vacancies um, eligibility criteria age criteria when to apply how to apply selection procedure training and so on let us get into the video we have uh, vacancies like this the current vacancies and backlog vacancies together of 400. These 400 are divided into branch wise. For mechanical it is 150, for chemical it is 60, for electrical it is 80 and for electronics it is 45, for instrumentation it is 20 and for civil it is 45. Along with these 400 vacancies, we have another vacancies for person with disability candidates also. The vacancies for per person with disability candidates General vacancies are 16 and backlog vacancies are 12. So, altogether it's 428 vacancies. Okay. If you look at the eligibility criteria, minimum percentage of marks are 60% along with the GATE scorecard. Now, you should have a qualifying degree in mechanical, chemical, electrical, electronics, instrumentation, civil. So, those who have qualifying degree, they can apply. Along with this, there is a age limit also. For general and EWS candidates, it is 26. For OBC, it is 29. And for SCST, it is 31. For person with disability, candidate, disability candidates, for general category, uh, general students, it is 36. And for OBC students, it is 39. And for SCST students, it is 41. If you look at uh, the important dates, the application starts from April 10th and ends on April 30. The application fees is of just 500 rupees for male candidates of general EWS and OBC categories only. Remaining all are exempted from this application fees. If you look at the, if you look at selection procedure, the selection procedure is like this. They will be selecting 12 members for one post. It is like 1 is to 12 ratio. For example, 400 vacancies are there, 400 into 12, it is 4800 students will be shortlisted. The shortlisting information will be sent on to your personal mail IDs or messages and they will be calling for final selection that is personal interview round. In that personal interview, you need to unreserved uh, student has to score at least 70% and EWS, SCST, OBC students should score at least 60% which means gate score is just an entry pass. If you perform well in the personal interview, you will get a job. There are high chances to get a job even with a low score also if you perform well here. After selection, they will be providing training for one year at different water reactor centers across the India. During training, the monthly stipend is of 74,000. After successful completion of uh, one year training, you will be appointed as scientific officer with a payment of 56,100 and a day in a salvance of 53%. So these are some key points about this detailed advertisement. Thank you.